How to connect your Shopify store to YouTube step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can connect your Shopify store to YouTube. Now, what would be the purpose of connecting to YouTube? Well, when we talk about connecting to YouTube, we are referring to connecting to both YouTube and Google because YouTube is one of the largest advertiser platforms. And if you can get your products to be advertised on YouTube, you can get a lot more exposure and you're going to be able to advertise on Google as well. Now, this is a really simple process. It's not complicated at all. And Google has its own official application that is going to make it simpler for you to connect. Now, to get started, simply head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you go into your Shopify dashboard, click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on your settings on the bottom left, you're going to click on apps and sales channels on the left. Once you do that, click on Shopify App Store on the top right. Once you do that, you are just going to search for YouTube and Google or just search for Google or YouTube. You will see this application over here. Now, this is something to be really wary of is that you're going to open this application and it's going to show you the developer over here. So as you guys can see over here, the developer says Google LLC. Make sure that you are downloading this particular applications because I have heard and seen a couple of dupe applications, which are basically fake applications people are creating that seem to simulate the Google connection application, but are actually not. So make sure that the developer is Google LLC, which means that this is the actual application developed by Google, which is safe, secure, and is not going to harm your store in any way. So click on install over here. Once you do click on install, a new tab is going to open up. And from here, you're going to click on install once more. Then Google and YouTube is going to be added as a separate sales channel within your store. So you will see it appear under sales channels over here. Now, once you see it in your sales channels, you can click on pin to your navigation to pin it to your navigation for easier access. Now, once you've done that, it's time to connect to your Google account. Now, one thing to note is that with Google account connections, you do need a Google advertiser or merchant ID. You can create one as well. You simply click on connect to Google account. And once you do that, you are going to choose the account that you want to connect. Click on allow over here. And once you click on allow, you will see your basic Google account. So once you've done that, you will see you have a couple of basic steps to complete before you can get started with advertising on Google and YouTube. So firstly, you have to add a valid payment method to your Shopify store. You can simply click on this and a new tab will open up. Currently, I have a bogus getaway added, so I'm going to click on add payment method and I can add a payment provider. Or firstly, I'm going to click on manage and deactivate the bogus gateway and then you can scroll down and add a manual payment method i'm going to just create a cash on delivery payment method like so once i've done that i can go back into my google and youtube setup then you want to add a refund policy and terms of service so you're just going to click on that but if you can't find the settings you can just go on to settings on the left scroll down and you will see policies at the bottom once you do that you can see you have your shipping policy, so you can click on insert template, click on publish. Then you have your privacy policy, you can click on insert template. Then you have your terms of service, click on insert template. One thing to note is you always have to read these and make the edits as necessary because if you don't make the necessary edits, it's not going to look good. So we're going to add 5 to 10 day shipping period nationally. And then I'll just click on publish. Then you have to ensure to add your contact info. So we're going to insert our template. And our trade name is Lily Davis TM. Phone number, our email address, and then our location. So from here, we're going to remove these two items and then click on publish. Once you have saved all of these things, you can see you also have return rules, which you can set up. But once you have completed all of these, you can go back into your Google and YouTube setup. 
And once you've done that, you're going to confirm that you have added contact info. And after that, you're going to connect to your Google Merchant Center. So I have a Google Merchant Center account. So it is already displaying the option of my Merchant Center account. If you don't have one, you can click on create new on the top right. But I'm going to just click on connect over here. Creating one is really simple. You just, you know, complete your information. Currently, okay, this has been associated with my previous store. So I'll just create a new account for this one and then just click on connect over here. Once we click on connect, our Google Merchant Center account will be created and the product data that we have, so all our products, will be synced up with Google. Now, once this has been completed, the next couple of steps are also pretty easy, which include things such as your phone verification, your product feed settings. So I'm just going to verify my identity. So now that we have verified all our information, we can proceed with the next step, which is going to be your product feed setting. So you can select your target country and language as well. So let's say I am targeting this country with this language. Then you also have conversion tracking, and then you can agree to the terms of service that Google has provided. Click on complete setup to complete your setup with YouTube and Google. Now, after this, it takes a little bit of time for your products to sync up with Google. And once that has been completed, you can see you can advertise your product with Google ads and get started to advertise on YouTube as well. You also have your YouTube store where you can sell product on your YouTube channel. Just click on get started over here. After that, you have your basic requirements, so you need to be approved for monetization in an eligible region, have a thousand subs, and it's not a kid's channel, it does not violate any of your monetization policies, and it has no hate speech strikes. So once you have uh, completed all of these channel requirements, you can choose your YouTube channel and choose to sell your Shopify product or list your Shopify product on to YouTube as well. And in this way, you can really just sync up your store with Google and YouTube's ecosystem as well. Not only that, I don't think that you should limit yourself because uh, YouTube is not going to be the only thing you can do. Connecting YouTube and Google will give you access to the Google Merchant Center. And if you open that up, this will give you a lot of valuable data that can help you in just seeing how your advertisements are performing, how your products are performing, what type of product has been a bestseller, what is the overall performance of your store on Shopify. You can even create some detailed reports using the data gathered with the Google Merchant Center link. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and if you learned how to connect to YouTube, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.